Hi, I'm Max Brooks. And in my last video, I talked about the doctor who taught doctors how to wash their hands. Well, today we're gonna to talk about the doctor who taught them to wash everything else. The term is antiseptic. Septic means infection. And right up until the mid 1800s, it was really easy to get an infection, especially when going to the doctor. Because back then, doctors thought that being just filthy and gross was still part of medicine. They didn't wash anything. They didn't wash their surgical gowns. They didn't wash their operating rooms. They didn't even wash their instruments, the tools that they used to operate on living patients. If you went into a doctor back then for stitches, they would sew you up with a dirty needle and dirty thread and wrap you in a dirty bandage and you would get a horrible infection called gangrene. And usually back then the best way to stop gangrene from spreading was to, to ugh, you get it. Point is, doctors didn't understand that they were the problem until in the mid 19th century a Scottish surgeon named Joseph Lister turned everything around. Lister had been reading up on a crazy French chemist named Louis Pasteur, who had this new fantastic idea that it was germs causing disease. He called it germ theory. And when Lister read it, he was like, whoa, wait a minute. So if the best way to stop infection is to kill germs, then we need to make sure that our hospitals are the cleanest places in the world. And that's what he set out to do. He found this chemical called carbolic acid and used it as the world's first antiseptic. And he used it on everything, including the patients he was about to operate on. Because what if that patient already had germs living in the wound or even just living on the skin? And that's why today, when you get cut, first thing you do, wash out the cut. That's also why when you go to the doctor for a shot, the first thing they do, swab out the area with alcohol so they don't accidentally poke germs living on your skin into your body with the needle. This all started with Lister. But at the time, not a lot of people believed him. In fact, this medical journal called The Lancet, which is still around by the way, they totally tried to warn people against him. But Lister didn't give up. He got friends and allies to spread the word. And eventually, as people started to believe in germ theory, they started to trust Lister. And that's why today it is safe to go to the doctor because now they understand that the best way to keep us healthy is to keep everything clean.